Okay, I'm going to try to be quick and thorough about this. You know, this is for automation. I don't really play it anymore, but uh, try to make it as real as possible. Try to explain as much as possible. So in 2020, I had naturally aspirated engines, push rod, two valves. They were very reliable, simple to work on, and they were... Uh, really strokers they wasn't didn't really have much bore to them but they they were more compact so i can fit a bigger engine into an engine bay like the v16 was 10.3 liters which is 630 cubic inches a v12 which is 7.7 .7 liters 473 cubic inches a v10 6.5 liters 394 cubic inches a v8 5.2 liters, 315 cubic inches. V6, 3.9 liters, 197 cubic inches. That's 236. I can't read my own handwriting. And in line 5 is 3.2 liters or 157 cubic inches. And in line 3, I skipped in line 4. And in line 4, 2.6 liters, 157 cubic inches. In line three is 200. I mean, uh, 1.9 liters and 118 cubic inches. So those were the engines I was putting in my 2020 vehicles. And they were all low horsepower, but had really good amount of torque. But they were really slow. I mean, most of the cars that I made was like 0 to 62 miles per hour in like 10.5 seconds. So emission started getting tougher. And the government started cracking down on like pollution and stuff like that. So I had to go with a different engine which had more of a bore and less of a stroke. And I put, it was still naturally aspirated, but I put like five valves per cylinder on the engines. Which the V16 was uh, 9.8 liters. So these engines are smaller. And 596 uh, cubic inches. The V12 was 7.3 liters, 447 cubic inches. The V10, 6.1 liters, or 400, I mean 373 cubic inches. The V8 was a 4.9, uh, 298 cubic inches. The V6 was 3.7, 224 cubic inches. In line 5 is 3.1 liters. 186 cubic inches. In line 4 was 2.4 with 149 cubic inches. The in line 3 is a 1.8 with 112 cubic inches. In line 2 is 100, I mean 1.2 74 cubic inches. And a one cylinder was a uh, 610 cc engine, 37 cubic inches. Might be asking why the inline two and inline one. Well, they don't have it in the game, but in my little uh, universe, it does. So, actually, I'm not using the inline two and the one cylinder yet. But anyway, that bumped up the horsepower and cut down on emissions. So that was in my 2021 vehicles. Okay, and my plan was to go full electric by 2031. They won it by 2033. So I have to do some kind of weird setup here. I'll explain it in a minute. But emissions got even tougher in 2022. So I had to take off the five valve and put on the four valve so I can have variable valve timing. And I had to introduce turbos, the same engine block, same sizes and everything like that. And that bumped the 16 cylinder up to uh, 1,014 horsepower. And the V12 to six or 760 horsepower. V10, 630 horsepower. The V8 to 507 horsepower. The V6 to 378 horsepower. The inline 5 to 319 horsepower. The inline 4 to 255 horsepower. Inline three to 190 horsepower, the inline two to 126 horsepower, and the one cylinder is the 63 horsepower. Okay, what well, I'm going to use this one cylinder inline two for.
I've shown you a minute. So in 2022, I had to drop the V16. Okay, that's only going to go in like a supercar or whatever, but the, like for the large truck and large SUV, um, in 2022, it's only going to be the V12, 7.3 liter. And then as technology gets better in 2023, a 6.1 liter V10. And then in 2024, 4.9, eight cylinder. And then in 2025, that's when it introduced the hybrid system. The hybrid's gonna power the front wheels, the battery and everything like that. The engine is gonna power the rear wheels. It's gonna be all wheel drive. And so the, the rear wheels is going to be powered by, or should I do the front wheels? Whichever one makes sense. Anyway, the battery's going to operate in one set of wheels and the powertrain, the engine's going to be able to operate in another set of wheels. 3.7 liter V6. 2026, the battery of the hybrid is going to get bigger. The engine's going to get smaller. So the 3.15 cylinder. 2027, the 2.4 liter four cylinder. The 2028 models of the large truck and large SUV is going to be 1.8 liter three cylinders. Like I said, as the engines get smaller, the battery is going to get bigger. Okay, the one point in 2029, the 1.2 liter inline two. That is going to be a range extender. It's not going to power any set of wheels. So it is an electric vehicle. That's a range extender. The engine is basically a generator. Um, it's going to rev up like it's going to be connected to the gas pedal. It's going to rev up the further you press the gas pedal down. It's going to give you a sensation that's still being powered by an engine. And in 2030, you know, fully electric. Well, not fully electric, but electric. And this time it's gonna have a smaller engine, a 610cc one cylinder. And it's gonna do the same. And it's also gonna be turbocharged. I know it sounds funny, but it's gonna rev up as you put the throttle down further. Give you a sensation that uh, it is, you can still hear the engine a little bit, like it's still being powered by engine. And in 2031, it's gonna be fully electric. Okay, now the smaller the vehicles it, they are, the faster they get fully electric, like the subcompact car. It will be fully electric by 2027, and it will be a range extender in 2026, and it will be a hybrid. No, it's not a range extender, that is the hybrid because uh, 60, 63 horsepower would be enough to power the front wheel, rear wheels while the battery is powering the other set of wheels. So that is a hybrid, but full electric by 2027. The small car would be full electric in 2028. The mid-sized car, small truck, and small SUV would be full electric by 2029. By 2030, the mid-sized truck and SUV and large car will be Full electric by 2030. So as I said, it's cutting down. If you just want to take a picture of that, that that means V12, V10, V8, and then it goes like a say like large car, mid-sized truck, and mid-sized SUV. That's 2020, 2021, 2022. That's 6.1 liters, and the V10. So it just keeps dropping and dropping each year. 2024, it's going to be the V6, 3.7 liter. That means it's gonna be a uh, hybrid. The circle means it's gonna be just a range extender. So I don't try to keep us underneath 10 minutes, so I'll just let y'all look at that if you can understand this. All right.